tuning into this video. Um, so this week I thought I'd do like a week in my life type of video. Excuse me, yes, I am in my robe. My bed is not made behind me. But um, yeah, I feel like I need to set this down like somewhere, but then like there's not a good place to set it down. Anyway, I'm sorry for like any shakiness or anything like that. But yeah, so I'm doing a week in my life video this week. And I do just have to say quickly, I never used to be a robe person. I don't like robes, except this one robe. My mom was like, hey, you should try this out. And it is so, oh, sorry for the glare on my glasses, but it is so comfy. Um, Oh my goodness, wow, it is just, it literally feels like a hug. So like I was saying, I'm sorry, I just had to sit my arm down. Um, It is so, so, so comfortable. Um, It just, wow, it mm, it feels like a hug every time. Um, So yeah, yes, I am in my robe this morning. I don't know, I... Um, if you watched my previous video, which was having structures when working for, from home video, um, because I do work from home, work from home, um, I have a part-time job, so I go in on Fridays, and then the rest of the week, um, I'm sort of like, you know, doing other things. Yeah, so if you live in Joburg, if you'd like prints, here you go, here's like the envelope, I put them in this little, um, ooh, there we go, envelope, um, and then it has like the person's name on the back there um and that's the envelope and it comes with like yellow tissue paper and like a cute little washi tape stuck on but yeah i don't know so I, like i was saying i've been trying to find like a rest day um but also i so i was saying maybe monday should be my rest day because like this morning it is miserable in Joburg at the moment um but i decided let me go for a jog because i'm trying to like get back into jogging and mondays are the most like logical days for me even though i am so so slow at them i just enjoy the jogging process um but yeah so at least i did that but it's really miserable so i got home and i was like soaked and so i took a shower and then i was just tired i don't know it makes it gives me energy but it also makes me tired and so because like i was saying in that video my weekends are so so busy because i work on friday i have church on friday night and then saturdays i'm usually like making my prints which i'm selling um which is another thing that i do during the week um which if you are in Joburg and you'd like some prints, like, um, let me know. But one, um, positive of the awful weather is great lighting because, um, when it's like cloudy and overcast, that's when there's the best lighting. Anyway, I'm so, I'm rambling. I'm all over the place, but, um, I've been trying to find a good, um, like rest day. And so I was thinking of having Monday as my rest day, but I don't know. It just feels so like unproductive. Um, and so like now I went, I got home and then I got back into bed or I ate and I sort of got back into bed and like, you know, um, and <laughs> I took a little mini nap, but I was like watching YouTubes and stuff or YouTube videos and trying to have like a rest day. But maybe what I'll do is I'll do like a sort of work day. So Mondays will be like my lazy day where I like, I jog and then I get come back and I like spend some time in bed and then I'll like edit one video and then Saturdays I'll also do like a half day type of thing so that I'm working like half day or like doing work half days on Saturdays and then Mondays um but yeah I don't know I've just been struggling with that and um just like because life is different when you are doing your own thing and when you are doing a working gap year um it you know it is a little different and just struggling with that and struggling with like you know having the right community around you and all that um but yeah so that's what's happening um i did want to recommend this book to you guys i started reading um how to win friends and influence people by dale carnegie and it is so so good i love this book i even got my mom hooked like we're reading it well she's also reading it with me um but it's just such a good book um wow it it really helps like you see things from other people's perspectives and i'm only like um 29 pages in but it's really really good and then this morning so here's my bullet journal over here um you guys have seen it so um in the previous video i sort of did like my oh my arm is so sore um even though it's resting on a chair um also here are some of my prints so here's the first one and then this is one i might introduce again it was a custom one that i did for someone um and then i think i'm gonna actually like introduce that one because i really like it um but anyway so yeah so i did my march bullet journal spread um and so at the beginning of the week i like to plan my week where is it um okay so i like to have like it's just a typo 
notebook i like to have a blank page and then plan it although i found like i don't know on mondays i'm just not into it and so like last week on tuesday that's when i started like planning my bullet journal although that's not really good um anyway i'm just like rambling this is like seven minutes of me rambling and i'm probably going to cut most of this out um ooh, okay let me support my hand um but yeah so that's that's my week this week is a really like average week um going to work on friday i have like a church bond dance thing on friday which is so exciting um i have to go book my learner's license um because yes i am 18 soon to be 19 and i still have not even gotten my learner's license which you can get at 17 so i need to book that um and see when i can take that um and yeah and then i'm just going to be working on like my blog i'm going to be working on filming some videos um this video is probably going to go up I don't know if it's going to be at the end of this week or sorry i'm just looking at my content calendar that i have on my wall or if i'm going to do i think i had another video um that i wanted to do but it's going to go up soon um and yeah that's my week i hope you enjoy this week um and i thank you just so much for tuning in and yeah so the main point of this clip i just wanted to say is that if life is looking a little different for you that's okay you know and this year for some reason like usually when i start off my year i'm like pumped and i'm excited and i'm ready which i am and i was i'm such a big believer that 2020 is going to be such an amazing year it's just that for some reason i've been so tired and usually like i rest over the december holidays and then i'm like you know pumped and ready to go but for some reason this year i just i i don't know i had a rough like december and then i didn't feel rested and so now i literally every week i sort of have to slow down but also like get stuff done because i can't sit at home the whole year and not have anything done um so yeah anyway that's that and yeah um this is a week in my life hey friend um oh my goodness i'm feeling so so much better i think i needed to like just like you know do something and like i said in my productivity video like when i don't I don't know not lie in bed all day and have like be wearing like lounging clothes i feel so much better anyway but it was just so so good i got out of bed i was like sat on the rug next to my bed um i wrote out a whole blog post i um and posted it and i also had some oats for the second time today i just i love oats and i think i just needed to like do something different eat food and then i'll be good um but yeah just a little like update type Thing. I don't know I'm so like new to the weekly vlogging thing but yeah um anyway I'm just lying here watching videos um it is just after three o'clock um and I have posted a blog today I think I'm gonna start editing I have a waiting season video coming out um I just wanted to preface all the videos that I do like one giant preface now just these are all like videos from the perspective of where I am in life now I do not know everything um and I don't have the solution to everything and excuse me um these aren't like set ways to do things they're just like my opinion or how I've done things or how it's worked for me or how I view things and what I'm learning and so just like my podcast it's not like this is, I'm a Christian girl like I've done all this this is how you should do it no it's like I'm learning how to do this and here's what I'm learning and I'm going to share that with you and hopefully that will help you um but I'll leave the blog post that I was talking about in the description down below because it is such a good one um I really really enjoyed writing that one again
having it like he but yeah so now yeah. once again busy editing this video and I apologize for how ratchet I look in these clips like before you watch this I look so ratchet but the message is genuine I just apologize for how I look I'm not used to like having to do my hair during the day um like unless I'm going somewhere hello friends so um first of all sorry that I'm kind of overexposed but this was like the only good angle that I could find um but um yeah so i've tried to record like multiple versions of this clip but i think i'll just record this one and like just explain everything so today is tuesday the 3rd of march um so like you saw in the like montages this morning um i woke up i you know had my devotion had some breakfast i don't know i just this week i'm feeling so almost unproductive um and so today i woke up um i actually woke up quite late today because i was kind of up last night chatting to one of my friends um but yeah i woke up this morning i think i woke up at like eight o'clock which is like very rare for me to wake up because i have an alarm for eight o'clock so it's rare for me to wake up at eight o'clock usually i wake up at like six or seven and then before that alarm and then usually the alarm will ring while i'm having my devotion but this morning alas um i woke up at your i literally can't see because it's so bright um but i woke up at eight o'clock and so then i had my devotion which was so so good it was so needed this morning i don't know i was just craving jesus i literally the entire devotion was just worship music and talking to god and like reading my bible and it was just so good and it just reminded me once again of my need for god and i was just so reminded how um how god has worked every single season of my life together for good and like looking back now it's just so much more beautiful than i ever could have imagined um and so that he will do the same with this season you know and i actually did a blog post yesterday where i was talking about like martha and mary when lazarus died and a uh, instagram post um uh, which literally just copied and pasted the blog post just being real um but and how like jesus has different reactions to them but something that i mentioned was that you know god will meet you where you are at and this season isn't a surprise for god you know it's not a surprise you are exactly where you need to be and you know even though god might not have like been the one to like cause the hurt in this season if that makes sense um but he can still use it for his good he can still mold it for his good and so that's just been what's been like reiterated you know um and so that devotion was just so so necessary and i think i needed it and i don't know this week i'm sort of like questioning okay like but what have I achieved, right? So looking back at February, okay, what did I actually achieve? You know, because I want to be having the other four days of my week productive because I go into work on a Friday and then the weekends, you know, and then the other four days, like, what am I actually doing? You know, what am I achieving? Okay, I'm working on social media, but is it yielding fruit you know and it's so frustrating because obviously i've just recently restarted and so things don't just happen like overnight you know and so it's so frustrating because i'm putting in all this effort and like i'm not seeing results but you have to be consistent like my old social media calendar that i had um and so it's okay but every time i want to redo it i have to like because it's laminated um because it has like verses from here i got this years ago from youth i'm um, like a youth dinner thing we had um, and so i have my con my social media calendar and you can see i did just did like a rough calendar here i have consistency here and then because i'm just trying to find a system that works for me um because i'm really trying to put out content and my goal with social media especially with youtube is to put out a, a video every single day i mean not every, ooh, no not every single day every single week for the rest of the year um and so i've done that and like this past week i even did two because i'm um, also just with all the videos that you guys have been watching um a lot of them have i recorded ages ago and then only now did i get to like editing them so i'm trying to do that and i'm trying to find a system that works so here i just have podcasts and so on the calendar i'll put um episodes that have been scheduled or have gone up does that make sense and then here i'll under the thing um i'll have what do i have here so i just have what i want to do so that's for the podcast that's one episode every monday and then i have ideas that i have because i really really want to do a forgiveness episode um and also a forgiveness video i think i'll just make this like the same thing um and then if i've recorded it it goes here and then once i've scheduled it because i just use anchor and schedule my posts and like everything it will go up here so you can see like i'm quite ahead with the podcast because until the 16th of march uh march that's 
the last like scheduled podcast and then i have the same thing for my blog so the ideas and then what's written for instagram the ideas that i have because instagram you just upload and then for youtube so i have ideas hold on yeah i have ideas i'm recorded and then edited up to all day i made such good banana pancakes um for lunch i got the recipe i sort of mixed um janine amapola and sarah's day's recipes to get like that recipe and also like my own pancake recipe and i have to say i do make pretty good pancakes but those are really really good um and then also there's a vegan version if you literally go on pinterest i actually made it and it was quite good um you just search like vegan banana pancakes they're pretty good um I think I substitute yeah yeah the flower is vegan yeah so you, if you're vegan you can also check that out but yeah that's just been today I don't know it's just frustrating sometimes when you work from home like this week or just in general like some weeks are just so unproductive and I guess that's like the nature of it um but you know like I feel like when you go to school every day it's like okay I go to school that's my like one productive thing you know that's my one thing that I achieve for the day but when you're like working from home or like doing a gap year it's like okay well what have I actually done you know I don't want the week to end and then look and I've done absolutely nothing you know and so it's kind of frustrating um, and I've just been really feeling it this week. Excuse my hair. I do these little thingies to like um, Lengthen all my little baby hairs. Yeah, um, but yeah, I've just really been feeling it and I think um, When I first found out that I had to take a gap year this year I was I sort of I had peace about it and I knew like the Lord has, had sort of like Imprinted that on my heart if that makes sense like I knew it was going to happen it wasn't wasn't a surprise to me and so you know I was like okay with it and I really you know and everything just fell together in place so beautifully the way I got my job once again just showing how God works um you know and every season of my life that's been the case and I'll um if you want I did a podcast episode on my testimony which I'll also do another one like once this year as I was just chatting about my gap year and stuff but um yeah it's just been crazy how God has still worked in this season and how even though this season doesn't look like what I thought it would look like it's still where God wants me to be and God has been putting people around me um who are in the same season of life you know it's just been really beautiful how God has been coming through this season and so once again this I'm trusting him with this as well that like these videos there's a reason that I have this time during this season to be able to make these videos and to be able to glorify him and so yeah i really want to encourage you if this season looks a little different than what you thought it would um god is still working and he is still using it for a purpose and nothing surprises god um nothing takes him by surprise he's not like oh she's in that season no he knows and so i really really encourage you with that um and yeah so that's it and also i think another thing is that it's so easy like when you have so much free time or well, not so much yeah when you have like you know when you're not going to school every day or going into work every day it's so easy to sometimes like get into your head and i have to like really oh my goodness i have to really you know um which a big factor that helps is like playing music but i'm um, like having music you know and breaking up that silence honestly every single day is a gift whether you're going to school whether you're working whether you're working at an office whether you're working from home whether you're doing social media every single day is a gift um and it's something to be treasured and it's something to be used to seek first god's kingdom and so wow that's even such a good reminder for me like okay this season looks a little different than what i thought it would but it's still such a beautiful season and god is still working and every day is a is a is a gift um and you should use it wisely regardless of what you're doing in that season of life so this was a very very long round on rant can't speak and this was a very long you know me talking um but yeah so that's that's what i've been doing today so today i um woke up this morning like i was trying to say in the beginning i woke up this morning um and then i was kind of like feeling like okay you know not icky but like you know a little like motivated but also not motivated and then i looked around and i was like well dad the space is a mess you know my space like my room is a mess the house is a mess the kitchen is a mess um so then i spent because i woke up late this morning um like i said earlier but then i like clean my i cleaned the kitchen i washed the dishes i just like tidied up around the house i um and then i cleaned my room and like swept and mopped and everything and so then i felt so so much better after that um and then i made my pancakes and then i um i did my social media calendar now i think it's it's quite late i think it's like half past three -ish. um also i wanted to pop on and just say sorry about that glare it is so so bad with my glasses um but also i wanted to show you guys so i have this plant i don't know if you can see him 
um there he is so if you look at like these these like leaves they look hold on there we go they look like in december he just started or like end of last year he just started dying um i am one hold on let, let me bring him to the side i am 1000 percent a crazy plant lady um but yeah if you look at like these parts it looks like they, he's dying and so like i thought he was dying i was like oh it's over but then um so that was like in december and we are in march now the third of march but then the other day i saw he had little sprouts look at him but actually these things are growing so quickly so i'll insert the video now of um how the sprouts look like literally a few days ago like three or four days ago and this is how big he is now he is growing so quickly and i'm so happy because look all this looks like dead roots and i'll i have to trim um these roots i'll actually do it now um but yeah and then oh look how green he is and then um yeah so you can see at least he's growing um which makes me so happy because i really love this plant and i thought he was dead and i had to like get rid of him but i persevered and here we go 1000 percent a crazy plant lady <laughs> okay last video about my plant doesn't that look so so much better so i cleared out all the dead ones um and then i just added some more soil and then oh, he looks so good i'm so happy for him and then hold on at the bottom i just added a bit some drainage because um because i got them from this guy on the side of the road which is so cool he was selling plants for 10 rand each um which i absolutely love that also that other clip where i was like you know it's just past three no 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 it was like at 10 to 4 or 7 to 4 and i started recording the like long rant clip so it is that it is like half past four or two five um so yeah i am actually going to wind down here call it a day again starting this in the afternoon i think it's like half past 12 yeah it's half past 12 um and i'm in the kitchen i just made myself lunch oh here we go um doesn't look that appetizing but i'll answer the photo now um i just have like instant noodles and then some um tuna and mayonnaise and lots of garlic salt and vinegar and lemon juice i don't know just adding that like little acidity just like takes it to the next level even when i make like spaghetti bolognese or like gravy sauces type of thing just adding a little bit of vinegar especially if it's like tomato based just adding a little bit of vinegar just like excuse me pushes it over the edge and it's really really good so yeah um i am wearing my dungaree there we go nice and yellow and bright um this morning i just did my laundry and today i need to edit videos i think i have two videos to edit um and then there was something else i needed to do um something else i need to do but i just don't want to you know like throw together video i really want to do my research and to be better about that and so that's what i'm doing and then i'm gonna go on to edit this week in the live video because i didn't get to do that yesterday um i kind of tapped out already <laughs> um and then still a bad angle um <laughs> but i'm probably gonna make some popcorn like a mid-afternoon snack snack um 
that makes me think of the line from Juice by Lizzo, where it's like, baby, I'm not a snack, I'm the whole dang meal. Ooh! <laughs> um, anyway, um, yeah, and then tonight I'm going to home style or life group or, or I don't know, home group, whatever your church calls it. Um, I'm going to that so I have to cook supper on time. What a beautiful day it is. Hello friend. Um so I am busy editing this and today is Wednesday and I have over 15 minutes of footage. Like it's almost an hour worth of footage and I've sort of rough cut it down to 43 minutes. So it's obviously gonna be shorter than that, but I think what I'm just going to do because I'm talking so much. Um I didn't realise I could talk this much and I don't want to like do it in two parts so actually today is wednesday and i'm actually going to end this vlog like actual vlogging here but then i'll do like a little highlight reel with like music and b-roll and all the highlights of my week here um after this clip also just apologize for how i keep like touching my face and touching my hair um and like touching my you know i don't know i always fidget with my hands sorry if it gets annoying um i'm not used to like weekly vlogging or vlogging in general so i'm always like touching something but yeah thank you so so much for watching um don't forget to subscribe to my channel um turn on your post notifications new video every single friday and follow at the project in the bye -bye.